What it do is the poor poet, power wild, the people champ, living the hustle already. Welcome back to another hot edition of Living the Hustle on Location. I'm your host, Laura Marcel. This week, we headed over to Takeover Studios, where the hit cartel and LAD presented the people's champ, Paul Wallace, out with another mixtape called The Poet Poet. We got a chance to sit down with the rapper and talk about his ventures that he has going on, including his new take on fitness with his wife, Crystal. Man, tell me a little bit about the healthy lifestyle change that you and your wife have going on, because I know she has a workout class. Yeah, she got a gym over there called Mix Fitness over there on 250 Patton Street, like Patton and 45 right near downtown, but you know, over there in the Heights, shout out to the Heights. But you know, I mean, just we do so much partying and putting so much bad stuff into our bodies, like with the food we eat to just the, the, the things we drink, like soda or juices, you know, we got to do something to just even it out and balance it out, level it out, you know what I'm saying, and, and get all that about, out of it, you know what I'm saying. But it's almost because it's a family collab Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, now this year you've also taken on some acting. I saw you in the Holy Spoof. You did your thing. Tell me, how did that project come along? That's some uh, my boy Young Chill put together. We all, uh, of course, we had a lot of fun doing that. Everybody was involved it was real funny. So just being there while we filmed it was just, you know, we was dying laughing the whole time. It was hard to get taste because we was laughing in the background at all the uh, scenes. You know, so we look forward to uh, making part two. See, I'll be on the lookout for uh, the to be continued. What happens next? Be on the lookout. Definitely gonna be looking forward. It was very funny. Now you've done some other acting too. You're on CSI. Can we expect you in any more acting projects coming up soon? I do a little bit here and there, you know what I'm saying? But I, I try to stick in the booth as much as I can right now. That's where I'm kind of just putting all my energy and efforts, either in the booth or doing my stuff with uh, TV Johnny with the grills. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? I do a little acting here and there, a little hustles here and there, but that's where I'm putting most of my energy, you know what I'm saying, is in that booth right now. Man. So, you know, all the music that's out right now, I got a lot more planning on coming out real shortly. So just be on the lookout. We got Check Season, of course, and the Poet Poet just came out. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and coming up real soon, we got my next project called Slab God. So uh, be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? Now tell me a little bit about the Poet Poet and the track No Favors produced by June James. Yeah. It's, uh, like you said right there, produced by my boy June James. And uh, it's called No Favors. You know what I'm saying? That's what I need you to do right now. Do me a favor. Don't do me no favors. You know, people, snakes come in all different sizes and, and, and shapes. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And they, they fool you, you know, asking acting like they doing you a favor but in the end they end up you know what I'm saying getting you from the, you know what I'm saying for everything so that's what it's all about right there do me a favor don't do me no favor man you, know, you gotta get it and that's just a motivation song for anybody out there that's slacking on their hustle you know what I'm saying like we live in the hustle man they slacking on their hustle you slacking on the hustle man and you know what I'm saying don't come around here acting like you doing me no favors man cause you know we all all about getting that money putting in that hard work and dedication nobody out here with their hands out you know people with their hands out is needy and we here to help and support people who need that help but you know what I'm saying if you grown don't be out here you know expecting no other grown person to be taking care of you if you're a grown capable person if you capable of, uh, of making means for yourself and go out there and get it that's what it's all about that's what the song is all about it's just a motivation song hey talk about living the hustle man you just summed it up I don't even have to ask you well how are you living your hustle <laughs> What advice will be, because you just said it everything. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the producers and some of the other artists that you worked with on the project. June James uh, made most of the tracks on there, him and my boy Platinum Hands. Also, uh, Beans and Cornbread, uh, G Luck Beat On, GL Productions. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Also, we got Beat King on there, Mr. Lee. Uh, made made a, a track on there. My boy Young Dolph is on there, Zero, Slim Thug. Uh, like I said, B King, Doe Beasy, D Boss. We got a, a nice selection of artists and producers on there. It's number he, I man. It's called uh, Poet Poet. It's out right now. We got CD hard copies. We also you can get it online, of course. All that support that, you know what I'm saying? Now, you've been true to H Town. You really are a hometown uh, gentleman. Tell me, how is it like working with other artists outside of H Town? And how much love do they show you when you step outside the city? Man, it, it means a lot when they respect your culture and where you come from. Because so many times people don't understand our culture down here in Texas, where we talk or what we're talking about. So since they don't understand it, they're ignorant to it. So they, they try to flip it and make it be like we ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just because they don't understand how we live our life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's all good. We got to represent for our culture. So when, when you go outside of here and people respect your culture, and they got love for your culture, it really means a lot because then it just it's encouragement and motivation to keep on representing, you know what I'm saying? And, it's, and all my favorite artists in the game who've lasted and, and survived throughout time have been true to their local culture and their local heritage, like Snoop Dogg 
or you know what I'm saying, people like Jay Z, he's Brooklyn for life. Snoop Dogg was West Coast for life. So all the artists like that, that you know, that that survive through time have been true and local to they, you know, local heritage and their local culture. So you know what I'm saying, when people respect that local, you know what I'm saying, that local hustle and that local music, man, that's you know, there's a lot of encouragement right there. What do you think about Drake? Because he comes out here all the time. He shows Houston so much love. Like, he breathes in the Houston culture. Yeah, there's a lot of artists out there that, that really, you know, that's been showing a lot of love. And, of course, we all love that. We, You know what I'm saying? Especially when they giving us shout-outs, too. Sometimes people take from the culture. And that's also good because, you know what I'm saying, when you got that type of... Uh, of uh, of uh, music or, or the culture itself is you know what I'm saying we all it, it love screw it, and you know drank the whole Texas culture out of we love that too you know what I'm saying that's all we was born and raised you know what I'm saying but when you come from outside and you show that same love man it, you know it mean it means something you know what I'm saying and they and they showing respect like I said with the shout outs and all that type of stuff you know what I'm saying we we got number love you know we we feel for that sometimes people come down here they don't they ain't giving no shout outs though they ain't you know what I'm saying they kind of I mean what nobody rocking grills until you started doing it now they got grill songs and whatnot yeah, yeah, it's all good you know people you know they be they be rocking grills you know, I ain't gonna claim that, you know what I'm saying? But not at the don't... level, not at the level that y'all do it though. No, let's be real. Yeah, thank you. Now there have been a lot of artists that have been able to sustain their brand and really brand themselves outside of just being a rapper. How have you done that? Because I know you've been acting, you and your wife, y'all have the workout studio, y'all promoted health. How have you really branded Paul Wall, especially outside of the Houston culture, to expose yourself to other people? Well, I just kind of follow the blueprint from what was in front of me. You know, you see other people a lot of times they go from music to acting that's one of the most common ones but Houston we just have that hustle mentality in Texas the whole state of Texas we got that hustle mentality you got to get it you can't just have just one hustle you got to have more than one so of course we got the music that's what kind of drives everything and so I got a lot of music that's out and coming out that's what's going to keep everything going but we got other things such as the vodka the, the deluxe vodka who sponsored our event right here you know that's another hustle we got right there seven times the steel it tastes delicious you know what I'm saying so it's a it's a real good investment we got going right now with that you know they they, they supporting everything we got going on too shout out to Deluxe Vodka. Uh, and of course, you know, the grills and the jury, me and my boy TV, Johnny, we stay having that going on. You know what I'm saying? We got that jury hustle going on. Me, shout out to my boy C-Stone. We the Diamond Boys. So we got that, that going right there, all our grills, everything. Johnny just came up with a new technique to en engrave on the grills. So shout out to TV, Johnny, something brand new. You know, Johnny, we always stay innovating the game. We don't always take credit for everything, but, you know, there's something new that Johnny just came up with, man. He got a couple new different styles. A diamond settings, one of them's called Invisible Setback Get. I made a song about it on the poet poet so you know we got a video me and my boy michael rt is gonna be shooting a video for that real soon so you can be on the lookout for that too it's coming real soon but yeah it's, you know what I'm saying my boy shout out to my boy tv johnny you know he getting this hustle on too this has been another hot edition of living the hustle on location remember to check us out each and every other thursday on these channels right here in the houston area and don't forget to check out my girl susan loren and princess they're gonna be bringing you news politics and so much more you don't want to miss it don't forget to check us out on the website at Living the Hustle. Drop the G, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Man, you know you want to see what we're talking about. And you can follow me at Laura Marcel, aka Nisha the Diva. Until next time, how are you living your hustle? So sit down with him and tell me. Ah, no!